Okay, so let's begin on one of my favorites that I always start out my my lessons with and assemblies when I do school visits and other cool events like that. I usually start out with the space hamster. So the space hamster is pretty easy. It's kind of like an egg shape. So let's go ahead sketch out kind of a long oval shape, kind of an egg, not all the way an egg, but close enough. Super sketchy. Zoom in just a tad. There we go. Cool. All right, so you should have a little egg shape. Now, on the upper left hand side, let's do a small circle. Remember, do super light sketchy lines to the right of that. Let's do another circle about the same size. Let's do a pupil inside there. Don't color it in all the way. Leave a little bit for the reflection of light. A little glare in the eye. Same thing on the other side. Underneath just a shade to the left do a small triangle shape for the nose do a little line right there just to show there's a ridge a little bit of a bump all right so next thing you're going to do is do like a letter j right there mirror image on the right Do little grin lines right there. There's another grin line. Little dots for the whiskers. All right, now time for some teeth. Little divider there. Squiggly line for a chin. All right, let's do a little circle over here. Another one on the left side. And we're going to do another one over here at the bottom, kind of a, a oval laying on its side or an egg laying on its side. Do the same thing over here. A little sunk in just to show a little depth. Y'all are doing awesome. Super easy to follow along when you just get your hand loose and you're sketching. All right, so now we have some sketchy lines we can erase as we go but let's go ahead and add some details then we can erase those straight lines so let's let's go ahead and add some furry texture see that just little squiggle lines let's go in there add a little dip for the ear same thing over here let's just enough little squiggly lines for texture for fur in the middle we can maybe add a little tuft of hair right there maybe you want to give this guy some eyebrows that'd be something cool to give him squiggly lines in here for some more fur furry lines there a little under the tummy Go ahead and darken the foot up some. Let's add some toe lines. There's one and there's two. For a total of three toe lines. See how sketchy and fuzzy everything looks? I can go in here and kind of lightly erase any of those lines I don't like. Just clean it up a tad. Remember, the key is to not pressing hard at the start. That way you can get rid of any of your original sketchy lines that you don't want to keep. All right. Go over that chin a little bit more. Darken that eye some. Same thing for this one. A little fur over there. Let's go ahead and get this other foot going. Remember, let's add those toes. There's one. There's two. And I see some sketchy lines I can get rid of there. All 
Okay. Now to make this guy a space hamster, he needs some kind of apparatus to help him breathe some. So what I came up with this guy is just a little fishbowl helmet. Just a classic circular circular shape. Remember, do it really light. Big fishbowl. Right. And another thing you can do, zoom out just a tad. Another thing you can do here is you could add an antenna, put a little ball on top right there. Or if you wanted to get super creative, you could add like a radar dish. So do like a backwards letter C over here. Stop it right there, do a thin oval. Show it's like a bowl shape. And then from the middle, there's a little communicator where we can dip in here and erase anything we don't want to keep just to clean it up a tad. All right. Same goes for this helmet. We'll go back over it. Get rid of these stray lines here. All right, let's trace over. All right, to give the illusion that there's some glass around this guy with his helmet. You can add a little reflection right there. Maybe a little bit over there, another one down here. Just to show he has some glass around him. He can breathe a little better. Whatever surface he's on, whatever planet he's visiting next. Maybe you can make a cool comic book about this guy. If you do, please send it to me. That would be really cool. Go to my website and send me any cool comics. I'll post your artwork on my website and on my Facebook page, all kinds of cool places. All right, so, oops, bumped my camera here. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna just shade up this little guy. So we shade him up. We shade them up. We're going to use some blenders. And I typically use these little guys right here. Just something like that size is cool. You can get these at any art store or any craft store in your community. But if you want to add some dimension, you can just shade a tad. Let's say the light's coming from here with this guy. We can shade in here and let's just go ahead. Add a little bit of shading there and there. Maybe a little bit under the eyes. And what's really cool is you can even give them like, so you can give them other definition that wasn't even drawn in their little cheeks. There's so much cool stuff you can do with pencil. I love blending with pencil. Look at those cheeks. A little bit under here. A little bit under the teeth. A little bit under over here on this bowl. Right there. The idea is to have your shadows in the right places. Give this guy the illusion that he has some depth, that he's three-dimensional. Where the light's not hitting, I'm just focusing on those areas. And if you want a little bit more shadow, you can always sketch in right there with a little bit more line. You'll get more lead to spread around on your picture. 
All right, let's go into these toes, into the feet. You can always go back over anything that blended if you wanted a little more definition on those toes, if they disappear some. You can always go back in and darken it up with your pencil. All right. So this guy's starting to look pretty nice, isn't he? You want to give him big cheeks, you just go around there. And this guy is pretty much done. If you want to get really creative, you can add maybe some craters on the side. Do some skinny. Skinny ovals there, add a crater. See that, little lines. Now, if the light's coming from this direction, it's gonna cast a shadow in here because you have this wall on the inside of the crater. So you just shade in there some, leave that part light, but then you would shade around here on the other side. So you could do a whole field of craters. You could maybe have a planet back here behind him. Maybe like a Saturn looking planet with a ring around it. You could shade that. Add some stars in the background. Color it up pretty good. And you will have yourself a masterpiece. Or maybe you just want to make this just a pencil drawing. There are no limits to what you can do with your art. So I hope you guys enjoyed this week's lesson. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you really enjoyed it. Make sure to hit the subscribe button below and the notification bell if you want to keep up to date on the latest videos here on Cartoon University. And make sure to hit the like button if you did like this video. Thanks again for watching. See you next time.